Join the top 10% of men right now by doing these 7 things. Quit being such a bad loser. Here's why women think 80% of guys are below average. Most guys are lazy. Most guys have no idea what to say to women. Most guys have incomes of less than $40,000. Most men don't work out. Most guys have trouble feeling safe and don't have the drive to do anything with their lives. Is it because of how they were raised? Is it our culture today? Is it because there aren't enough dads in homes? I'd say that it's everything. This brings me to my next point, if 80% of men are below average and the other 20% are average or above, what's stopping you from being one of the few men who are above average? Why not join the club of the 10%? Here are 7 things you can do right now to put yourself in the top 10% of guys. Start making changes to yourself. You get to grow as a person. Who you want to be in life is up to you. Society wants weak people. Society wants you to be fat, sick, dumb and broke. Most importantly, society wants you to be someone who doesn't ask questions and just does what they say. Don't follow the crowd. Ask questions. Read books. Check out podcasts. Take care of your problems. Improve yourself. Try to learn from other people and come up with your ideas and thoughts. Stop saying the same things everyone else says. Learn to make your own decisions. Stop wasting what you're good at. Imagine your best self and start working on the things that are stopping you from becoming that person. Set regular goals for yourself and achieve them. In other words, try hard. If you want to settle down and start a family, work on making a good life for yourself so you can be a good parent. To be a good worker, you need to be driven and focused enough to do what needs to be done. Find out what your life's purposes are and set daily and weekly goals to help you get there faster. If you don't try to improve yourself, not just for yourself but for the people who will come after you, you will end up like everyone else. They aren't doing anything useful with their lives while they wait for a handout and make fun of the guys who are reaching their goals and going above and beyond. Learn something you can sell. No matter what you do in the business world, your pay will always be capped. Someone else will always have to sign your checks for you. You will have to clock in every time. In the end, your life will always rest on someone else. Think about doing something on your own and living your life the way you want to. You weren't made to be a robot who works a 9 to 5 job Monday through Friday and is chained to a desk. Do you know that you must ask for time off? Do you know that you work for about 260 days a year? You only have 2 days off a week, but you use them to do things you can't do during the week. You're lucky to live in a time when you can get freedom and make money from different kinds of work. So start now to learn something. You can make money by learning a skill, and you'll also feel better about yourself because you'll know what you're good at and what you're good at doing. This can be done even if you have a 9 to 5 job. There's nothing wrong with working for a big company, but why not learn a skill that will let you be your boss someday? Start getting in shape. Even though you don't have a pretty face, nothing is stopping you from having a pretty body. Who do you think is getting all the girls if you take two men with the same income, looks, personality, and everything else? But one of them is sick and out of shape and the other is in good shape. The fitter guy, of course. Unless the woman is also sick and fat, in which case she will say she likes dad bods. You may not be able to change the way your face looks, but you can change the way the rest of your body looks. If you start working out, eating right, and gaining strength, I promise that women will start paying you more attention and your confidence will go through the roof. Working out is a surefire way to be in the top 10% of men, and the things you learn from it are worth a lot. Here's what you will learn. Personal duty. Knowing how to give up. Discipline. You can't learn those things in school, but if you want to be in the top 10% of guys, you need to know them. Make yourself a practice that helps you. To be successful, you don't need a long and busy morning routine. Most people who have long, 
time-consuming habits are neither successful nor useful. Set up a routine that will help you move the needle. Wake up at the same time every day, don't hit the sleep button, make your coffee, and go to work. Make sure you have time to go to the gym. Don't waste your time or energy on things that don't make your day or life better. Take it out of the picture if it doesn't make you money, keep you healthy, or make you happy. Take good care of your looks. There are a few things you can do to make yourself more beautiful besides working out. Clean up. Too many guys out there don't take care of their bodies. Always take a shower. Get your ears clean. Don't forget to brush. Floss? Floss your teeth. Use whitening strips to make your smile look better. Make sure you're wearing clean clothes. Don't wear sweat-stained clothes or dirty boxers out in public. You're an adult. Get regular grooming. Pay attention to her hair, nails, and face the next time a beautiful, classy woman catches your eye. Her hair is cut, most likely colored, and trimmed. Her fingers? She has a regular meeting every two weeks. Her skin? Sephora. And regular facials. All of this regular care costs hundreds of dollars if not thousands. She puts herself first and spends money on herself. You should do the same. Get your hair cut often so you always look clean and good looking. You don't have to go to a shop to get a manicure or pedicure, but you should make sure your nails are clean. Hands are important to women. Don't have dirty feet either. Do something to take care of your skin. Why do guys think that skincare items are only for women? You guys also get pimples, touch your faces, have pores, sweat, and age, so you might as well start taking care of your skin now. Don't be the guy who washes his face with hand soap and then wonders why his skin looks bad. Have a good taste. Having good style and putting thought into what you wear will make you feel better about yourself. There's a difference between a guy who wears a clean, pressed, a nice outfit and one who wears an old holy t-shirt from high school that his mom got him along with old wrinkled jeans and worn out shoes you don't have to be the coolest guy or wear the best clothes you just must take care of yourself and try to look good don't do these four things anymore don't watch porn don't fake don't drink every night and don't eat junk food every day your body and mind change when you do drugs. It makes you less sensitive and changes your idea of what is normal and okay. For instance, it can make real life sex seem boring because your brain is so used to seeing girls on TV. Also, you are less likely to do your best. It's also gross, makes you cringe, and doesn't look good. And important guys don't have to do that. It's also gross to vape. It's very addictive and has been linked to sadness, erectile difficulties, and a lot of other health problems. Drinking every day is bad for your health, and getting drunk every night doesn't help you in any way. If you eat bad food every day, you will look and feel like garbage. Eat foods that are full of nutrients if you want to do well in life, stay healthy, feel good, and look good. If you don't have time to cook real meals, invest in a healthy meal delivery service. If not, you should learn the basics of cooking yourself. In the end, the things that make guys attractive are not as popular as they used to be. People look down on being masculine, getting better, making money, and trying to get better. Improve yourself. Fulfill your ability. Don't let yourself get stuck in a group of people who aren't as good as you.